Microsavings is a hot new idea in development economics. It addresses a basic problem faced by many poor people. Let's say you have a small amount of money, say equal in value to $150, and you want to set up a savings account. If you take this money to a large bank, they'll turn you away, or maybe they'll even laugh at you. The costs of processing the paper, setting up the account, and dealing with you means it's not worthwhile for them to take care of your very small deposit. The result is that a lot of this money just sits around the homes of poor people, and it's vulnerable to fire, it's vulnerable to theft, in fact, a lot of savings gets destroyed by some kind of catastrophe, or maybe it's taken by someone visiting the home. And a lot of poor people, in fact, would actually be willing to pay money to have some opportunity to save their money in a secure place. The micro-savings phenomenon is evolving through a few different routes. Nonprofits, for instance, are trying to set up or encourage opportunities for very poor individuals to be able to save very small sums of money. For instance, the Gates Foundation has been very active in this area. Another medium for micro-savings has been actually the cell phone, or technology. Using cell phones in some parts of the world, it is possible to save and store your money and transfer it to other people, all using electronic technology. Finally, banks in many countries face burdensome regulations. To the extent these regulations can be moved, it will be cheaper to supply banking services, and banks will be more interested in serving the poor. That, too, will make micro-savings easier. Micro-savings is, in general, considered a very promising idea for the future. If you'd like to do more reading in the area, here is one good paper on the topic.